Hey YouTube fam, welcome to my channel, Pushy AJ Fitness. I'm AJ. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's video is going to be about how I stay motivated to work out and there may be some helpful tips in there that might help you along your journey too. Sorry about the way I look, I've literally just got done with the workout so I thought this was actually the perfect time to actually let you know what keeps me going. If you're interested, if you're looking for some helpful tips, stay tuned. They aren't in any particular order so just take the tips that work for you. Okay, so let's get started. So I find my the first thing you need to do is have a why, have a goal, have a reason why you want to work out in the first place. And it doesn't have to be a physical thing. It doesn't have to be about losing weight or gaining weight or muscle. It can be the way it makes you feel. It could be wanting to achieve something, wanting to be better than before. For me, my main goal is just feeling healthier. So I'm actually 38 years old and I find working out actually helps me to feel fitter and I feel better than I did when I was younger in my 20s so I want to keep that feeling going so my goal is to be functional and fit for a long period of time staying fit and functional through my older years is my why so your why could be anything it could be to lose weight to gain muscle it could be you're getting married next year um, it could be whatever that is um, it could be you know you just want to feel better mentally um, I get a lot of mental clarity when I work out um, but my main focus is longevity so whatever your why is that needs to be the first thing you need to think of and that's going to keep you motivated when you feel like you don't want to do it today you'll bring yourself back to why you're doing it and you'll just instantly want to go and get going i mentioned uh, mental clarity so for me and a lot of people actually um focus on working out to help with depression for anxiety um just moving around making yourself feel better it really helps with the mental state um, it helped me go through um, the grief of losing my father that was what helped me get through it. It gave me something to focus on um, and a lot of people feel the same way. Another great way to stay motivated, I find, is keeping track of your progress. So a lot of the time, because we see ourselves every single day, we don't notice the changes. Um, so you may feel like you're not making any progress and just want to give up. But if you take pictures, you can take progress pictures of what you're looking like. You can take measurements. I don't really use weight as a gauge of progress unless it's somebody who's trying to lose quite a lot of weight because your weight moves up and down, gaining muscle, losing fat, all these different things. Just fluctuates throughout the day just with eating and drinking and all that sort of thing. But keep, progress, um, keep track of your progress. That could be strength. You could find you're getting stronger by the day. Um, you could find you're being more flexible depending on what you're training for. So whatever it is that you're training for, set little milestones and set progress, um, set goals so you can see, set goals so you can see your progress. Goodness me, that was a mouthful. Right, so make sure you keep track of your progress. So as I said, it could be taking pictures, it could be taking your measurements, it could be seeing how strong you're getting, how flexible you are. All these things are, way, are measurable ways of seeing your progress. Another way to stay focused and motivated to work out is to find something you really enjoy. If you enjoy it, you're more likely to want to do it. Um, a lot of people don't like the gym, so there's no reason to go to a gym if that's not where you like to be. That's one of my favourite places, but not everybody likes the feeling of being around the gym with lots of people. So you can work out at home, a lot of people are doing that now because of obviously what's happened. So you can work out at home, you can work out in the park. You can actually join um, in a sport, so maybe you might like to, uh, team sports like football, basketball. Um, you might find socialising is better, so you might not like working out by yourself, working out with a friend. So those things can actually help you to stay really motivated to work out. My biggest motivator for me is wanting to be better than yesterday. So wherever I was a few years back, I'm a completely different person to who I am now because I'm better than I was yesterday. I always strive to progress, whether that be in my work, 
in my fitness, just in life in general, you always want to try and be better than you were yesterday. Staying in, a, in your comfort zone is just a place of comfort, but you're not going to grow and progress. So if you want to be better, that's a major, major motivation for me. One of the things I find the hardest is getting out of bed. It used to be, I'm going to say, it used to be one of the hardest things. If you're, um, you know, have a lovely cozy bed and especially if it's a cold day or when you wake up in the morning it's still dark, it can be quite um, daunting just the thought of getting out of bed. But if your goals are bigger, bigger than wanting to be comfortable in your bed, you will actually get up. Um, I need a bit of water. I give myself a five second count, that's the maximum time I can stay in bed once my alarm goes off. I find it better just to turn off my alarm, jump out of bed and you'll find you have the most amount of energy. Um, what I've been doing lately, I've been getting up at 4am, as soon as my alarm goes off, 4am I'm up, I have a cup of coffee, get myself dressed, I'm going to go out for a walk or I'm going to work out. Um, and then I feel so alive and then I can come back home and get myself started for the day. Um, but find what works for you, but that is one that really works. If you find you're struggling to get out of bed, count to five or count back from five down to zero and then jump out of bed. Just tell yourself, I'm gonna go five, four, three, two, one and jump out of bed. And your day's gonna get started and you'll love me for it. So if you found any of these tips helpful, make sure to like, share this video with your friends and family and of course subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. See you next time.